Hello, good morning, and welcome back to the uh, DJWW Auto Diagnostics channel. This morning, we have had delivered a uh, FRM3 module out of a uh, Mini R56, which uh, has unfortunately uh, become uh, corrupted via uh, customer. Uh, had an incident with a flat battery then the vehicle was jump started and the battery was replaced it's had a battery maintainer on it and such and unfortunately in the process of things it's uh, corrupted the uh, it's corrupted the uh, EEPROM on the uh, FRM3 and uh, the consequence of that is uh, is the lights don't work properly uh, when you switch the lights on you can't switch them off uh, the wipers come on as and when they please these and the uh, electric windows don't work uh, either so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to fix this we're going to uh, going to repair the uh, EEPROM we're going to use a uh, XPROG uh, programmer which we have here and we also have a uh, I have an adapter here to uh, connect to the uh, connect to, so you can just clip this on and uh, connect to the uh, correct uh, pins on the uh, pins or contacts call them what you will on the uh, FRM module. So uh, I'm going to uh, get this uh, get this all connected and then we'll uh, then we'll come back and uh, have a look at the program. Okay, so we're just uh, um, just removing the uh, out of uh, out of cover from this uh, FRM module now. They're just literally held on with four plastic clips on the side. There you can literally remove these clips uh, with your fingers. Pretty straightforward. And we're going to remove the uh, board all from the case. And I'm just actually going to bring in now the uh, the adapter here and uh, I'm just going to try and get this uh, help if I got it the right way around that would be a good start so let's see if we can Okay, so we've got the uh, FRM module now uh, connected uh, correctly to the uh, XPROG uh, reader. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to switch, move over to the uh, over to the laptop, and uh, we're going to open the uh, XPROG uh, software. It's a uh, it's a Windows XP uh, laptop that needs to be used for this particular. Uh, this particular piece of software. So let's just give that a second to open. Okay, and we're going to click on device. And we just need to go through here now and just uh, configure a few settings. So the first one here is to set this up to. Uh, I believe that's the uh, that's the correct. To correct setting there and subtype set to 9s12xe and initially we want to uh, we want to read the uh, D flash off of here so if we click uh, if we click OK there and then we click new and read and now it should uh, attempt to uh, hopefully uh, read the uh, D flash now because obviously the FRM is damaged it will come up with this uh, with this message about the partition being corrupted so if we click OK click OK on that and I believe we need to set the uh, EEPROM size to zero bytes. Okay, so we've got the EEPROM set to zero bytes. Let's 
correctly so if we click OK it will now can hopefully continue to read the uh, read the device successfully okay so Okay, so if we scroll down here now, we can see that the uh, that the device has been read read successfully. So what we need to do now is save that. And I have a file set up for this particular customer. And we're going to save this as. D flash dump and it's saved as a dot bin file. Okay, and now with that, we need to come here to the uh, flash to uh, EPROM. Okay, so we just need to select the file, click open, accept, and upload. Okay, and we can see that uh, the, uh, there was indeed uh, issues with it, but uh, it's read the, uh, read the VIN number okay, read the VO and such okay, and all the details and such are in there that we need, so we're going to click on download. EEPROM image and then we're going to pop so if we pop uh, if we can just go to uh, so sometimes I don't use XP very often and uh, and it shows because I don't always uh, can't always remember exactly where to go so if we cut that file from there pop that, just copy and paste that in here like so and now we'll uh, get ready to uh, re-upload that back to the uh, module ok so we're now ready to come back to uh, Xprog and we need to change the important, really important thing here is to change the device so we need to change to uh, EEE which is this one OK, and now we need to effectively erase the device. So what we're going to do, I'm going to click on New, and we're going to click Erase. So, yes. To there. Okay, and now we need to uh, open the file that uh, we put in there, which is this eprom.bin, and we click open. And now we want to write that. So if we click write, write file to device, yes. And we can see that's successfully writing. And, that, and that's it. That's, uh, that is essentially the uh, job done. And so this module now, we should be able to uh, reinstall this uh, back in the car. And uh, the, job will be, uh, the job will be complete. Okay, so it's going to be nigh on impossible here to uh, disguise the truth uh, for those that have uh, stuck it to the end. Uh, I uh, have seem to have completely lost the uh, end footage that uh, I filmed uh, previously to uh, conclude this video. 
So uh, we can see we've uh, successfully uh, repaired the FRM module. The customer's now reinstalled the module in his car and he's uh, contacted me to uh, confirm that uh, everything works as expected and his windows and wipers and lights etc all work as uh, all work as expected and he's 100% uh, happy with the uh, with the repair uh, if uh, you would uh, if you have a uh, a similar uh, issue uh, with uh, with an FRM module uh, or an FRM3 module rather then uh, please contact me uh, Contact me uh, via the uh, via my website uh, or drop me an email. Uh, contact me on Facebook, uh, Instagram, etc. And uh, I'll be more than happy to uh, carry out the repair for you. We can do it both ways. We can either uh, you can either post the uh, post the module to me and I'll repair it for you so that it's plug and play. You just uh, put it back in the car and you're good to go. Or you can bring the car to me and I'll uh, quite happily uh, remove the module from the car. Uh, uh, repair it and then uh, reinstall it and test for you etc uh, etc et so uh, yeah I'll, without uh, further ado we'll uh, get this video closed off uh, the usual like comment share subscribe etc there's links in the description uh, like I say if, uh, if you'd like to get in touch uh, to have some similar work uh, done to your car uh, by yourself so uh, yeah, please contact me, uh, take care, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.